In this video, you will learn how to safeguard your Remind teacher account and classes. When you set up your Remind account, you should select Teacher. This includes any coach, club advisors, or organizers. Once you've selected Teacher, set up your first class. Keep in mind that students who are 13 or older may use Remind independently. However, if they are younger than 13, Parents will need to be the only contact in the Remind classroom. In order to share your classroom, you have several options. You can place a link in Google Classroom with a PDF of instructions on how to join. Remind also has given an in-person presentation that you can use on a teacher night or in class with students. After setting up your first class, be sure to go to the settings cog in the upper right hand corner and be sure to unmark people in this class can see and message each other. You will need to do this for each class. By not choosing this option, you are safeguarding your classes against external access. Remind should be used as a communication system for students and parents to keep up to date with announcements and reminders for your class. Please be aware that if you have multiple Remind accounts and in some of those accounts you are a parent, your account information may default to parent. If this happens, you will not have your classroom set up to be able to stop conversations and you will not be able to stop external access. In order to correct this, Remind would like you to use this method of contacting them. Go to rmd.me slash help. When you email them, make sure that you put your name, your school email address, and a link to your staff directory through wcpsmd.com. Ask them to switch you to a teacher. Remind is a communication tool for you to directly communicate with parents and students as long as the settings are set appropriately. This will safeguard against external access and protect you and your students.